him properly, uh, Coach Green was talking about, um, you know, there were still some shots that he felt like um, guys were uh, not making you know, open shots um, at, at points, even though you guys have shot the ball so much better than last year. What, what is the key to kind of taking that last step and hitting with some of those that maybe you want to take? Well, the one thing we really emphasize is footwork, making sure that we step in properly, get behind the ball stay in the follow through of our shots and those are the things that we're able to go through on film with our guys and then once we get out on the floor then we work on that with our repetition not only in practice but with some individual instruction type things they're they're excellent shooters but you've always got to sharpen the saw and you've got to make sure that you stick to the details of how you shoot and make sure that you continue to develop that repetition. And I think they've done a really good job of that. And they know when they need extra work. And sometimes it's a matter of catching and shooting on the move. Sometimes it's just form shooting, but having that consistency. And those guys are guys that get in there extra on their own as well. Well, I, I think, again, and, and you guys know how we recruit. Everybody's involved with every kid we recruit. And, and you know, it, 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 it's interesting because they're, they're both young men that every time one of us put our eyes on them and, and got a chance to be with them or be around them or watch them play, you, you came back knowing they fit Indiana basketball. And, and what we were looking for. And so I, I think that's what kept being driven home every time when they were here unofficially with their families, when you would just spend time with them, not watching them as basketball players, but watching them as young men and their families and the interaction with them. It, that's all a big part of it. And, and that's what you walked away excited about every time you were around them. We would hope that they would, and then we also feel like they're going to continue to develop and get better. Uh, the nice thing about the new rule where they can come in the summer and go to summer school and also get an opportunity to work out, you're going to see them grow and develop. And uh, their skill level is good, and it's going to continue to get even better. But I think they both have a really good basketball IQ. And to help make an impact at this level right away, obviously that helps tremendously. And I think those two are ahead of the curve in that regard. striking a balance between how they can impact immediately and how to think at the same time about long-term development and working on things that will pay off in two or three or four years? Well, I, I, again, I, I think it goes back to when, when the first time both those young men were on our campus and, and you start recruiting them. They, there, there's a reason they're attracted to us and, and there's a reason we're attracted to them. And the development part is, I think, what you're talking about right there. And, and like, I, I'll use Juwan as an example. His defensive identity and what he can do defensively right now kind of goes back to what you were asking. Can he impact the game as a freshman? Yes, he can. Right now, as a defensive impact, he can. Now, his offense is going to continue to develop. And maybe that's where it answers your question. And the things we have done with players here to develop their offensive skills and defensive skills is, is, is what makes a young man like him really get excited about being here. Because can he impact it as a freshman? Yes, he can. Will his game continue to grow? Yes, it will. And, and I think OG's the same way. His length, his athleticism let him impact the game in maybe it's as, as a defensive part to begin with but then the skill level will let him impact as he gets adjusted to the game. I think when you look at skill level too, it's very easy to point to somebody like Victor who came in, how he came in, 
not very highly regarded, and then he ends up becoming the second pick in the NBA draft. But I look at Emmett Holt, and if you go back to the Lamar game, did you see Emmett on the break handling the ball and crossing over and laying the ball in? That wasn't something that he came here and was doing. So that development has already taken hold even since the time he first got here on campus. Well, I think it, it, because you, you, it, you've got two young men that, uh, again, they've been around, not just once, twice, three times. They've watched the workouts. They've watched what we are about, and they're excited about it. So I, I think that's where Coach sees the correlation of Vic and Will and, and the work ethic and, and the eagerness to get better every day. Because if you've got that, and, and what we see in them as, as young men and players, and then you know they've got that, and, and the, it's the old thing of do they have a little chip on their shoulder? I think both these kids do. Like Coach said, neither one of them knows how good they can be. And, and yet they were looking for a coaching staff that can pull that out of them. And, and so, yeah, I think that's where – they, they both have some personality. They both, you, you know, bring an energy when they play. And so it, there are some similarities there. Does he prefer OG over Ogunwa? Yeah, he, 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 anytime you're around, it's OG. Okay. I'm just wondering, I guess, for writing purposes. Yeah. Did you see that story? Yeah, that's what made me think. I have no idea who that is, but I think uh, Juwan shot almost seventy percent in the EYBL. Is it the case that maybe you can get more out of him offensively, make him be more aggressive because he can hit the shot? Well, there, there's no question, and and you guys got to see a lot of tape on him, saw him in person. The other thing he can really do is pass it, you know, and and at times. Even I would be sitting there going, you need to go score the ball, you, you know. But yet, again, now, when you're evaluating guys in the summer during the year, he, he comes from a culture of winning. So he isn't worried about, do I score 20 points? He's worried about, does my team win? And so, yeah, I think he can be more aggressive offensively, but yet I think he knows there'll be nights he can be and nights that – being the setup guy is okay. We're going to win the game, and and so you know he he's a he's got a very good high school coach. The work ethic, the culture. They've got five shoot shooting machines in their gym. They're in there at five thirty in the morning. So his offensive game's going to come fast. But I don't think he worries about it, which which I like. Well, again, it, it, it showed that he could change his game. And, and I, I think in, in when you've done this as long as Tim and I have done this of go evaluate guys and, and watch them, do they get better? I, I think that's what we look for, and, and you could see it in him. Because if a guy can't see what his weaknesses are and improve on them, then he's telling you something about his game. That he, and, and, and again, the game is mental and physical. It's some of the adjustments we're having to go through right now with our team. And so you're seeing a process with Juwan where he could see this is a weakness, I've got to get better, and he made the adjustment. I think he fits the pro-style offense philosophy where you can play him inside, outside, take advantage of his length and his size, but his ability to shoot the ball, understand how to run offense. You know, I think both of those guys do a really good job of not only scoring, but also incorporating their teammates into play. And I think when you have guys that can pass it, can handle it, can shoot it, and then understand what to do with it, those guys become very difficult to guard. So versatility really epitomizes both of these guys. Anything else, guys? Did it help that they knew each other? 
recruiting process? Live near each other, and, uh, you know. You know, they they knew each other. That was about it. I really, as as Juwan had made his decision, you know, I think OG did contact Juwan after that as he was getting down to his decision. Um, but up until that point, they really hadn't talked about it. And, and so they know each other because they play against each other, but uh, unlike, you know, some other guys who maybe were on the same team, they hadn't really talked about it until it got closer to the time. Either of you handle the Green Bay scout? Pardon? No, no. That's uh, Chuck's. We watched film on him, but... Well, from what I've seen on film, an inside-outside team, uh, they have the ability to go inside and score down there, but they also have the ability to shoot the ball. I think they're averaging about seven, maybe eight threes a game, taking 22 attempts per game. And I think it'll be another good challenge for us in that regard. And we've got to do a really good job on the interior of defending before he gets the ball, not after he gets it before. So we've got to try to battle him for spots. And then defensively, we've got to keep people out of the paint and we've got to get out and we've got to challenge those three-point shooters. So it kind of falls into what we've got to continue to improve on. And I think them having an inside-outside combination there is going to make us be really alert and aware to play in defense in this game. I guess, you know, I don't know if you've watched enough film of last year or any of last year to answer this, but I think he's a Richard sophomore. I don't think he can play. I think it's a pretty big jump for him in points, rebounds, possessions used in general. If you've gotten a chance to see that, that 6 in center from last year, what's changed for him? I have not seen any of their film from a year ago, but it's probably like a lot of guys when they – get acclimated to college and they understand it and they feel more comfortable and then they get in there and they work and they do a lot of things on their own above and beyond what's required. They improve and get better. And that's why I think that uh, a lot of time gets spent and talked about recruiting, but I think evaluation is probably more important than recruiting because sometimes you can bring in somebody with a high number next to their game, but do they like to get in? Do they like to work? Do they want to do extra? How hungry are they? Do they want to improve? And I think that development through the course of your four years or however many years you are in college, uh, that determines the value of whether somebody's a great recruiter or not. I think evaluation has more to do with it than anything else. Thank you. Thanks.